Hi, Liz here. Um, today I'm going to be talking about three swallowing maneuvers to help when you're swallowing to clear all the res residual food and liquids and prevent aspiration, or at least try to. So um, today we're going to talk about the superglottic swallow, the super superglottic swallow, and the effortful swallow. And once I give a brief description about each one and the functions of them, I'm going to bring in my friend Summer to act as my patient and uh, demonstrate this for y'all. So we're gonna start with the supraglottic swallow, which is a swallowing maneuver that prevents aspiration of food or liquids by closing the airway bef or before the swallowing because you're holding your breath and then immediately after you clear the food and liquid res residue, uh, you cough voluntarily and that will project anything that has fallen below the vocal folds, the true vocal folds, out so that you're not aspirating. Um, and then previous research has found that the effect of breath holding maneuvers is normal and in normal subjects um, increases the laryngeal valving and elevates the laryngeal position before the pharyngeal swallow. So it really provides a benefit for those with normal swallowing, which then can be taken for those with disordered swallowing to hopefully come up with a, um, a solution. So then the super superglottic swallow is very similar to the superglottic swallow. However, there is more pressure and more force being applied to the swallow and to the cough. So I will show it with Summer in a few minutes, but it's the same concept of the superglottic swallow, but instead the patient will be bearing down, acting like they might have something heavy on their shoulders so that then when they swallow it is more effortful, which kind of then leads to a, to a good point for the efforts will swallow. So it has been indicated by research though that the super superglottic swallow um, perform, or has the tongue perform a greater amount of work during this maneuver so that the swallowing technique then may also be used as a tongue exercise because there is more pressure involved and um, the increased pressure significantly uh, it uh, helps when swallowing and clearing the airway. And so um, finally, the effortful swallow is designed to increase the posterior motion of the tongue to the base. So here's, here's the tongue and here's the pharyngeal wall and we want it to go back and close off so that there isn't residue that is being stuck. So um, it has been shown that the anterior motion of the posterior pharyngeal wall and the tongue base are meeting and it's increasing the bolus pressure and subsequently decreasing pharyngeal residue. So by doing this, it is very similar to the super superglottic swallow except they're not having to cough. So when you say, oh, I want you to do an effortful swallow, it's more like, okay, have, have a hard swallow or press your tongue up and back as you swallow and really try hard to clear the airway so that there isn't residue left over to be aspirated on later. And so this is, um, this is used normally for a group or the group of people that have difficulties with the pharyngeal phase of swallowing because they're able to clear that residue and um, not aspirate on it. So now I'm going to bring in Summer for the demonstrations. And so we're going to start with the supraglottic swallow, like we had said. And so I'm going to walk through the steps of that and um, have her demonstrate as I'm describing. So we're going to need your water for this. Okay, so the first step is to take a sip of liquid, but do not swallow it yet. Make sure you have control of it, that there's no premature spillage, that you are using your tongue to keep it all in the bolus. Okay, so now that you still have it and you have it under control, I need you to inhale, still without swallowing. Okay, and now swallow while you're holding your breath and cough <coughs> immediately. So that was right, so she took a sip, inhaled, she's still holding her breath, contained the bolus together so that it's not all over her oral cavity or going now into the pharyngeal cavity, and then she swallowed while still holding her breath and immediately coughed to project anything that happened. So can you try that again for me? Okay, so in, take a sip, 
hold it, inhale, swallow, and cough. <coughs> Great. Okay, so now this leads us into our super, super glottic swallow. And like I'd said earlier, it is like you're bearing down. So the one suggestion that I'd seen was, you know, acting, maybe pressing your hands together or really having them feel like they're holding something heavy on their shoulders so that they are more, more applying more force and making it more effortful. So what we're gonna, what I'm gonna have you do is when you put your water bottle down, just bear down with your hands like this and press them together hard okay. so that then we can we can go from there. So yeah, take a sip. All right now, put your hands together and press and inhale, swallow. <coughs> cough. Yes, that is it. That is perfect. So then finally, this is a great leading point into the effortful swallow because they're very similar. Um, instead of having to bear down though, physically, you're going to be using your oral cavity and your, your tongue. And so this time, when you take a sip, you're going to press your tongue up as hard as you can, like back and up against your soft palate so that then you're forcing the, the liquid down and it's it's a lot of effort and more pressure and then hopefully you'll have less oral or pharyngeal residue. So if you want to try that and hard, hard swallow. Great job. So as you can see, um, these are all very related and I hope that y'all found this educational um, and I want to thank Summer for being here today and yeah, there are the three hard swallow, super glottic, and super, super glottic. So, thank you.